Hello, in this lesson, I want you to solve system equations using elimination with multiplication. What we're going to be doing here is not that much different than what we did in the last lesson. You're still going to get your variables lined up in columns. You're still going to eliminate one of them, and you're still going to solve by substitution. The difference is this time we might have, rather than adding and subtracting, we might be multiplying. So if we look at example 1 here, 2x plus y equals 23, and 3x plus 2y equals 37. It doesn't matter which variable you get rid of, x or y. I'm going to get rid of y because it seems like it's a lot simpler. To make these two y's the same, I would multiply the first equation by 2. So I get 2y, but I don't want it to be the same, so I want it to be opposite. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the first equation by negative 2. And when I do that, then I'm, I'm going to write that below. So 2x times negative 2 is negative 4x. Negative 2 times y is negative 2y. 23 times negative 2 is negative 46. Now, notice my y's are opposite. So I'm going to draw my line and I'm going to add my two equations. 3x minus 4x is negative x. The y's cancel. So equals 37 minus 46 is negative 9. Well, if negative x equals negative 9, I'm going to have, divide by negative 1, x equals 9. And once again, I can use the, whoops, what happened there? I didn't want to do that. Get out of there. I can use the first equation. I can use the second equation. Or I can use the transformed equation. I'm going to use the first equation. So I'm going to say 2x plus y equals 23. But we know x is 9 now. So 2 times 9 plus y equals 23. 2 times 9 is 18. What do you have to add to 18 to get 23? Well, you'd have to add 5. So x equals 9 and y equals 5. Let's take a look at another example. Now in this example... Notice you can't multiply anything to change four or to change three x into four x. I can't multiply by anything to change three y to five y. So here's what you're going to do: you're going to multiply both equations. I'm going to get rid of my y, and the reason I want to eliminate my y is I know one is positive, one is negative, so I have less things to worry about. I could eliminate the x's too. Now I look at 5 and 3. What's the least common multiple? Not greatest common factor, least common multiple. What's the first thing that 3 and 5 go into? Well, we notice they're relatively prime, so my least common multiple is 15. What do you multiply 3 by to get 15? Well, you multiply 3 by 5. So I'm going to multiply the first equation by 5. What do you multiply 5 by to get 15? Well, I'm going to multiply the second equation by 3. So I'm going to multiply both equations. I think I have room here. If not, I'll rewrite it. 5 times 4x is 20x plus 15y equals 40. Because 5 times 8 is 40. Multiply the second equation by 3. So 3 times 3 is 9x minus 15y. 3 times 23 is negative 69. Now let's add them up. So 20 plus 9 is 29x. My y's cancel. That's what I wanted to happen. 40 minus 69 is negative 29 which means x is negative 1, because 29 times negative 1 is negative 29. Now let's turn around and find y. 
I think I'll use my first equation. I don't, I don't want to use my transformed equation because it's just bigger numbers. So on my first equation, I'm going to say 4x plus 3y equals 8. But we know x is negative 1. So that makes negative 4 plus 3y equals 8. Well, we're going to add 4 to both sides. 3y equals 12. 3 times what gives us 12? Well, that means y is 4. So my answer is negative 1 and 4. So this is an example. We're going to multiply both equations by different numbers. The first example, we just multiply one equation. 